MRI ultrasound fusion guided ultrafocal cryotherapy for localized prostate cancer. Technique and short-term outcome. Introduction. Focal therapy is a viable treatment option for localized prostate cancer. Radical treatments like radical prostatectomy or external beam radiation are often associated with side effects compromising quality of life. Grade 2 and 3 incontinence can occur in up to 30% and erectile dysfunction in approximately 50-80%. to 80%. Focal therapy as an alternative treatment option allows ablating prostate cancer selectively with the goal of reducing toxicity by preserving functional structures. According to current guidelines, focal therapy for prostate cancer should only be offered within clinical trials. The aim of this video is to present the technique of MRI ultrasound fusion guided ultrafocal cryotherapy for localized prostate cancer and to submit our initial results. Patient case history. In this video, ultrafocal cryoablation is performed in a 62 year old man diagnosed with localized prostate cancer in the anterior zone. Prior MRI fusion guided prostate biopsy revealed a Gleason score of 7A prostate cancer with ice upgrade 2 as the index tumor in the corresponding PIRADS 4 MRI lesion. Additional systematic 12-fold biopsy detected no more cancer foci. Prostate volume was 40 milliliters and initial PSA value was 9 nanograms per milliliter. The MRI lesion size was 14 by 8 by 6 millimeters. Technical aspects. For the cryotherapy procedure, we use the visual ice cryoablation system from Gallo Medical with argon gas for freezing and helium gas for active thawing. Ultra-thin 17-gauge needles type iSphere 1.5 and two multi-thermal sensors were used for freezing and real-time temperature monitoring. A urethral warming catheter was inserted to preserve the urethra during the freezing cycles. Surgical technique. The patient is positioned in lithotomy position for a transperineal approach under general anesthesia. At the beginning of the procedure, a cystoscopy is performed and a suprapubic catheter is placed. Afterwards, the transrectal ultrasound probe fixed on a stepper system is positioned in the rectum and the template is fixed. Software-based MRI ultrasound fusion of the prostate images is performed until accurate matching is reached. Cryo needles are tested outside the patient, followed by placing them into the tumour bearing lesion under ultrasound guidance within a maximum distance of 1 cm. In this case, three cryo needles were inserted. One multithermal sensor was placed directly within the lesion. A second sensor was placed in the de Novier's fascia for monitoring the rectal temperature. After placing the needles, a cystoscopy is performed to ensure integrity of the urethra. In this case, one needle has to be repositioned due to a small perforation of the urethral mucosa. Before starting cryotherapy, a urethral warming catheter is inserted to protect the urethra from cold injury. Two freezing and two thawing cycles are carried out. In the tumour containing lesion, a maximum cooling temperature of minus 90 degrees with a medium of minus 60 degrees were maintained for the duration of 10 minutes in each freezing cycle. Transrectal ultrasound is used for real-time visual monitoring of ice ball formations. Early onset effect of freezing is cell membrane disruption, ischemia and cellular edema. Later on due to ischemia and cell destruction, apoptosis and necrosis occur inside the target lesion. Results between 2017 and 2018, we performed cryotherapy in 20 patients with low and intermediate risk prostate cancer. Patients' characteristics are displayed in the table. 12 patients were treated focally with hemiablation and 8 patients with an ultrafocal approach. Oncological and functional outcome was analyzed at 3, 6 and 12 months after cryotherapy. Depending on the PSA level, a control biopsy was carried out 6 or 12 months after intervention. The mean PSA level dropped significantly after three months, with a total decrease of more than 60%. On 
Until now, six patients received a controlled biopsy after MRI at six or 12 months. In-field recurrence occurred in two of six patients, one with a Gleason score six and one with a Gleason score seven A. Urinary symptoms remained unchanged. No high grade incontinence was observed, but IIEF score decreased significantly. Quality of life remained constant. Minor complications were observed in three patients, one with urinary retention, one with pain and one with infection. All complications were treated outpatient. The suprapubic catheter was removed on the first post-operative day after successful and retention-free voiding. Patients could be discharged on the second day after cryotherapy. Conclusion Ultrafocal cryoablation with MRI ultrasound guidance is technically feasible. Short-term results regarding quality of life are similar to those recently published. Oncological outcomes are very preliminary due to the small number of patients receiving a control biopsy so far.